Welcome to Electron Line. One of the most useful theorems in geometry when dealing with circles is when we have an exterior angle, where the angle goes beyond the confines of the circle. And notice that now we have two intercepted arcs, one on the closed side and one on the far side of the circle. When we have a situation like that, we can say that the measure of the angle is equal to one half the difference between the measure of the arc on the far side minus the measure of the of the intersected arc on the close side. So the best way of course to understand that theorem is to do an example. So here we have an example. We're trying to find the measure of the angle A which is x degrees. We can see here that the intersected arc on this side is 20 degrees. The intersected arc on this side is 80 degrees. So to find the value for x we can say that x degrees is equal to one half times the measure of the arc on the far side which is 80 degrees minus the measure of the arc on the, on the close side which is 20 degrees so this is equal to one half times 60 degrees which is equal to 30 degrees so in this case that is the measure of that angle outside the circle so here we can do the same thing although we have a slightly different approach notice that they don't give us the arc here on the other side. This is of course the intersected arc on the far side and we have the intersected arc on the close side. That is given but we're not given this one right here. So this distance here, this arc right here can be expressed in terms of an angle and we could say that this is equal to a full circle 360 degrees minus this part of the circle which is 160 degrees minus that part of the circle which is 80 degrees and that would therefore be equal to 200 minus 80 or 120 degrees. So now we can say that the measure of angle A, the measure of angle A, which is equal to x degrees, which is equal to one half the measure of the arc intersected on the far side, which is 120 degrees, minus the arc on the close side, which is 80 degrees. So this would be one half times 40 degrees or 20 degrees and so you can see how useful that theorem can be and it's very easy to implement it as long as you can remember the formula and that is how it's done.